Challenging practice. Question one. We are subtracting two numbers and we get the answer 4.95. So the answer is 4.95. And the lesser of the two numbers is 3.4. So 3.4 is here. So we have to figure out what the number here is. So this is a zero over here. So to get to that number, we are going to add. So how do we get this number over here? We're going to add. So this is going to be 5. This is going to be 13. And this is going to be 8. So let's check. 8.35 subtract 3.4. So we are going to regroup. Yep. So 8.35 is the answer. So next question, we're going to do something similar. So we're going to subtract two numbers and the answer is 6.8. So the greater of the two numbers is 10.55. So we're going to subtract and we're going to figure out what this number is. So to get this number, we have to take the difference between 10.55 and 6.8. So we are going to regroup. So this would be 10.55. And this would be 3. So the answer will be 3.75. And we can always double check. So if we have 3.75, Would we get 6.8? You can check. Yep. So 3.75 is the answer. Problem solving. Question 1. The number in each rectangle is the sum of the numbers in a circle next to it. So 1.4 is the sum of 0.3 and 1.1. That makes 1.4. And... 1.1 and 0.6 make 1.7 and 0.3 and 0.6 make 0.9. Question 2. Each week, Rina saves $5. So Rina saves $5. And her brother saves 2.5 less each week, which is $2.5. And he started saving 4 weeks earlier. So 1, 2, 3, 4. He started 4 weeks earlier. So after how many weeks would Rina's savings be equal to the brothers? So we are going to do the math over here. So after eight weeks, let's find out how much they have. So after eight weeks, her brother is going to have $20. And after four weeks of saving from Reno, she's going to have $20. So eight weeks later, they're going to save the same amount of money.